Okay, now we're looking at the top of a car of a traction elevator. A little bit different. Some of the components are similar. Here's the door opening mechanism here. There's a uh, pulley with a single belt operating these uh, cams and levers here that open and close the car door. On top we have the controller just like before. It has a light on there, a stop button, a run and spec button, up, down, and the safety button are all on top. There's also a 110 outlet up here. Right here is where the cables attach to the main frame of the elevator, where all the strength is. Uh, there's uh, six cables on this one. In most elevators, there's a plate that tells you the weight of the car. This car, just so you have a frame of reference. Again, I brought up earlier cars weigh three to four to 5,000 pounds of weight. It's a heavy piece of machinery. This one weighs 5,350 pounds. The cables alone are capable of holding up 87,000 pounds. There's six cables. And there's a, a certain number they go, each cable has to hold, I think, one and a half times the weight of the car itself, something like that. So there's plenty of overkill. In other words, you don't really have to worry too much about the cables getting stressed and breaking and the car falling. That's almost impossible to happen. So that's some of the components. On this one, I think every elevator we looked at in previous uh, segments had guide shoes. These are guide rollers, and you can see they're like giant roller blade wheels on steroids and they're riding up and down the guide rails. So there's some of the components of this elevator. One of the things on a traction elevator you can see it's much more cluttered up here. There's more things up here. And the other thing to always keep in mind this is a multiple hoistway situation. <coughs> Off to the right here if that car is on the first floor it's seven stories straight down. There's nothing to stop you uh, from falling down this open shaftway over here. So you got to kind of keep those things in mind. I talked about pulling in one of the segments. If this car was stuck where it is and there was no hole to open the doors, that's where we do a technique called pulling. We would take the car next door, reach across with a pole, and release the door locking mechanisms. So we have that option too called pulling.